Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maca here showcasing a new Xbox dashboard feature called Groups, currently available to Alpha Ring members of the Xbox Insiders program, coming soon to the general public in the coming months. Groups have been one of the most highly requested features for the dashboard for a very long time, and it's basically just a way to sort your games into folders, and then you can organize yourself a little bit better and use those folders in different ways for your game library. Now, the first thing you'll notice when you get the groups update is that basically your pins have been turned into a group and that group itself is called pins. You'll be able to find it in my games and apps underneath games, underneath apps. You'll now have a new folder called groups and you should automatically have one group installed in there and that's going to be your pins. Now at this point, you're probably looking to create a new group and to do this, I would recommend going to your home screen, pressing the guide button, going to my games and apps, and then you should see your pins kind of here at the bottom. You can minimize your pins and then, and then create a new group. And for example, I'll be creating a group called easy 1000s where I want to make a folder of games that have easy gamer score in them that I have yet to complete. You can get pretty crazy with the titles and even go as far as use emojis in the names of your groups. Once you create a new group, you'll be brought to this screen where it basically shows everything that you own under your gamer tag. For me, I'm going to be sorting it so that it only shows games and that it only shows games that I actually have installed on my hard drive. And now I can go through the list and select the games that I want in my new Easy 1000s group. So for example, I'll be selecting Minute, Narcosis, and Monochroma, as those are games that I'd like to get the completions in within the next couple of months. Now that you've selected some games for your group, you can go to the right hand side and press add and it'll create the group itself. Don't worry if you're not 100% happy with everything, we can change pretty much everything about a group later. So now that we have a newly created group, I'm gonna show you what you can do with that group. And the best way to kind of play with groups and change things about them is to go to the groups tab inside of my games and apps. And once you're here, feel free to click on one of the names of the groups to easily go through a list of all of the groups you have. And if you click on the more options button in the name of a group, we have the ability to add a group to our home screen. We can rename the group or we can move the group so that we basically have our groups sorted in a different order. So if I'd like to see my easy 1000s before my pins, I can do that. While here, I can also change the order of games within a group if I don't like the alphabetical order the group was automatically created with. Additionally, from this screen, I can click the add more button to add more games to a group and I can add a group to my home, which is what I'm doing on screen now. As soon as I go back to my home, these should now be pinned underneath the landing page of the home and you can arrange these in different order if you so desire as well. One thing that I personally decided to do was to rename my pins to commonly used and then I kind of just deleted everything that I had pinned before because like a lot of you guys, I would basically just pin games in a certain order and I would basically remember why a game was pinned. So for example, PUBG is pinned because I play it a lot. Wolfenstein was pinned because I had to go back to it and a game like Minute or ACA Neo Geo games were pinned because they were easy. But now because I can have all of these different types of groups, my pins are going to be used for different reasons. So I decided to rename that to commonly used. Now, obviously, you're going to play around with this. And because of how many options and how much customizability there is, you're going to come up with a system that works for you. But I wanted to fast forward a little bit and show you with what I ended up coming up with for myself. Basically, I have a group for things I use a lot. I have a group for easy games. I have a group for backlog games that I have started and a group for backlog games that I have not yet started. And I think this system is going to work pretty well for me. I'll make alterations as I go. But this is kind of something that I really enjoyed and a feature that is going to be very useful for a lot of people. 
Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Again, this is the new groups feature, which allows you to organize your library into basically folders. And this is a super requested thing currently available to alpha members. You'll be getting it if you're not in the Xbox Insiders program within the next couple of months. Thank you so much for watching. If the video was informational or educational, drop a like, share the video with a friend. Thank you so much for watching. A special thanks to the amazing people on Patreon for supporting the show. And hopefully I see you guys next time. Peace.